ओके सो वी आर गोना बी एक्सप्लोरिंग सम ऑफ द टेस्टिंग थिंग एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली इम्पोर्टेंट आई नो दैट वी आर नॉट सपोज टू यूज द टेक्स्चर पेंट मोड बट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू शो यू वाई एंड यू गना सी एट राइट नाउ वी आर एक्चुअली एट द एट के वर्जन ऑफ द इमेज बाय द वे एंड या दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्ट्रोक एंड ब्लेंडर हैव ऑलरेडी लेग्ड एंड दिस इमेज जस्ट सडनली अपियर सो इट ऑब्वियसली कैन बी सीन दैट ब्लेंडर इज लेगिंग एंड एज यू कैन सी इट टूक अस लाइक अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्स सेवन और एट सेकेंड टू बेसिकली क्रिएट दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट एंड नाउ इफ आई वर टू जस्ट डू द सेम एज यू कैन सी ब्लेंडर हैव स्टॉकड अगेन basically blender have lagged again so this is actually going to be the problem with the texturing paint workflow and uh, yes you can like clearly see that uh, you won't be able to work with this like lag right i mean it is kind of hard and in my case it is actually impossible for me to concentrate for like hours to you know do something like this as you can see how long blender is taking to you know uh, like uh, to add the color that i've just uh, tried to add and like you can see okay so now the color has just suddenly appeared and as you can clearly see this is definitely not the nicer way of doing things so i am just going to show you a better way and uh, in order to do that i actually need to go into another file so yeah let me just go into another file where i have basically set up something and uh, before i do that uh, what i need to do i actually need to apply the multi res modifier because that method is not going to work with the multi res so what i'll do i'll actually lower down one subdivision as you can see i'm at the fifth subdivision and at the 13 million face and now i'm just going to apply it i've actually tried applying it on the highest level and uh, blender crashed like i've tried multiple times but it didn't work um, so i had to just uh, Use the thirteen million version, and the thirteen million is still like pretty good of a count. Like you would still get so much uh, polygons to work with, so much details to work with. So it is totally fine, by the way. Uh, you're not really gonna be able to lose a whole lot of details, as I mean you've seen the uh, final result. I think it's it is pretty nice. Now you can see that you can like pretty smoothly add these colors. Like you can see how smooth the workflow is. Like there is no lag. so these are the this is basically the reason we are going to be using this workflow and um, in the end when we are going to be done painting our mesh like this uh, we also need to bake our stuff and uh, let me just show you some of the cool stuff let me just set up a file so uh, let me just set up uh, this file in terms of udim so that we basically have a similar uh, you know similar uh, situation in this particular file so Yeah, uh, you can see that we have three UDMs just like we had in our previous file. And uh, now what I'll do, I'll actually add a little bit of subdivision so that we actually have some polygons to work with. And uh, okay, so these are the polygons we actually have to work with now. Uh, I am actually talking about the UVs for some reason, but let's actually ignore this part of the video. This is actually the problem with the voice over I have no idea what I'm going to do next I'm just guessing stuff but uh, what I wanted to show you is how you can use your paint and how you can bake the paint into an image texture so I am just going to start painting some of this stuff and I am just going to paint it with multiple colors as you can clearly see and uh, let's just say that we are done painting right and we have created this masterpiece uh how are we going to you know uh, use this uh, data that we have in the color attribute actually this is color attribute or the vertex paint whatever you want to call it uh we need to bake this into an image texture now so in order to do that you actually need to have a shader network and then add the uh, attribute color attribute so just do that and in order to check by the way this is just me checking as you can see we have the colors over here in the shader so i can just take you know make the environment color white and you can see that we are actually getting the colors so the question is now how we'll be able to uh like uh, bake this color into an image and if you are someone who are like familiar with baking and stuff then you know it is like pretty simple to do so what we are going to do we are actually just going to select the image and uh, we already have an image so the test image that we've created right right 
and now we want to put this image into the emission uh, not the image sorry the color attribute node into the emission and now what I can do uh, with the image selected and the object selected uh, okay so I am just uh, trying something out and it is not working I don't know what was I trying but uh, with the image selected and the object selected just go into the bake and because the attribute is in emission uh, right the viewer node is actually the emission node as you can see uh, if I were to just compare it with the emission you can like see it is just the emission node okay so what you can what you need to do you need to select the image and the mesh and uh, this is important you need to select both of these and then the bake type needs to be emission so emit uh, in this case and the output is gonna be the image texture that we have uh, over here so yeah now that we have selected you can just uh, like uh, you can see that the target is image texture and now just click on bake and uh, let the blender bake it so until it is baking uh, I can just open up the okay so it actually have baked pretty fast and as you can see we have all the color data on the image but uh, there is one more thing that you can do uh, what if you actually want to change uh, like the hue and saturation of the color and then rebake uh, okay so I need to save the image first I think that's why blender is showing the mesh as pink so let me just save the image first and uh, then we'll just uh, go back to it so uh, what I actually wanted to do I've actually tried packing it but the blender is not letting me pack so I have to save the image but uh, what I was uh, trying to show you is that you can actually change the hue saturation and then rebake the changes to the vertex color or the color attribute in this case and uh, yeah uh, you can actually see that there is no like uh, difference between the image and the color attribute so it is like uh, exactly how we have painted I think that's pretty nice right uh, there is no like visual at least visual difference so now I just wanted to show you if you let's just say if you wanted to change some of the hue and saturation uh, in your uh, image uh, you can and then you can just rebake that particular part into your uh, color attributes as you can see we have color attribute option and uh, as you can see uh, we have the color data here so you can just rebake that onto your uh, main like color attribute by uh, just uh, putting the hue saturation value node into the emission and then changing the output to color attribute the target needs to be color attribute and uh, you can see that it is going into the emission and uh, just select your mesh and then bake it and you're gonna see that uh, this actually changes and the reason it changes is because uh, we are using the hue saturation on top so I have removed it and now you can see that uh, uh, after the change uh, you can also just uh, bake uh, that particular part onto your color attributes and now you can actually start working on this particular mesh so yeah let's actually also try and do that so I am in the sculpt mode and nothing is being seen and that's because you need to select your brush and then click on your mesh once so let me just select the brush and just click on your mesh and it actually reappears so yeah this is basically the workflow we are gonna be using we are actually gonna be using the sculpt mode paint uh, feature and then we are just uh, gonna be you know um, baking all the color data onto our image 